the place for comic book and anime reviews. Hey guys, I'm Bruno Campbell 12, you channel play for comic and anime reviews. And I'm going my review for Death of the Inhumans, issue number four. Great cover right here with Medusa standing on the like the little throne, her hair going all out, all red. Um, with the, going with the red lines of the death of the humans. And uh, this album issue pretty much begins where we left off in the last issue with um we actually get kind of a flashback at first between Beta Ray Brennan and Lockjaw and it's talking about Beta Ray Brennan had kind of a relationship in the past and they cared for each other and Lockjaw's death is what brings Beta Ray Bill in pretty much to go and take on Vox. And he pretty much tells like the inhumans that like who are saying they want to go with um Beta Ray Bill to go and fight Vox. He's saying you can go with me, but know that I'm doing this for Lockjaw. I'm doing this for the dog. Like, um, meanwhile, we get this awesome fight between Black Bolt and one of the Kree soldiers. That's really great and really powerful and really amazing. Um, run up to the fight with Vox that they end up having. Um, and at least all the humans end up getting there and taking down Vox. And he's about to say who his name is and he's trying to figure out who it is before him. Crystal ends up getting like lost with him and taken out. And we end up finding out as time went on, like from Karnak, that Vox is actually Maximus. And that's how everyone came and said, Well, Maximus died. And what we start to learn here is that the Kree have been taking humans uh, and basically genetically um, doing something to them, bringing them back to life or whatever, and turning them into boxes to go and hunt down their inhumans. Which is kind of weird, because um, it pretty much says that this isn't, I kind of assume this was going to be after the death of the inhumans. Um, the minute issue 3 happened, I was just like, this is after the death of the inhumans. Like, we might get the death of the lockjaw, but besides the lockjaw, that probably it for the Inhumans, like, like you had a great chance to kill Black Bolt right then and there, and you didn't kill Black Bolt, you let Black Bolt live, um, he bleed, he was literally bleeding out, and you sold his neck back together, so I assume that, um, more like the humans weren't gonna all die, but, this is kind of weird, this makes kind of weird sense, because it's saying, like, okay, so we're, Taking on all to the Vakas to kind of like uh, are going to be used as they're taking the human and using them by instead of having the Vox go and kill all the inhumans, uh, like we thought was happening. This Vox is, um, well, he is killing the inhumans, but he's also like if he gets killed himself, like maybe there's an inhuman, so it's kind of like this weird circle. Um, but it's kind of weird, like, why wouldn't you just have, like, one box or two boxes or whatever, just have them slice down all the humans out, like, why are we doing it like this? I guess they can have an army, because, again, I guess the Kree wants them to join, they say join or die, and so I guess this is them forcing them to join in many ways with the Kree, um, but it's still kind of weird, it's, it's a very weird weird line you're kind of pushing here Kate with this one like I was really up was really good with them just like getting slices and dying and then maybe finding a way out of there with defeating Vox but this is kind of weird this is really really interesting um we only have I think we have only one issue left so we're gonna see how this all turns out with Vox um if all the humans get captured in terms of Voxes or if you know they manage to destroy the Kree ship and possibly wipe out their entire race pretty much because that is very impossible like this is like like people keep saying like oh is that definitely any humans anymore because uh, the humans aren't going to all survive we don't really know though for all we know all these boxes that they have going here could all get could, could, could get wiped out that could be the only way they can like kill them all you know all these humans they can't like turn them back or they all or just have the next inhuman book just be Vox and then all of them are just these army of Vox that are working for the Kree. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They don't have one issue left, and I don't know how you're going to be able to wrap this all up in a decent amount of time.
revealing one issue without it changing the very um, status of the Inhumans forever. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on Definitely Inhumans um, issue number four. Uh, and the customers about Definitely Inhumans, I will catch you guys later. Peace out.